Just a few hours ago, North Korea fired three ballistic missiles toward the East Sea. This marks the regime's 16th provocation of the year, the first since the launch of the UN administration. Bae Eunji starts us off. At about 6.30 p.m. on Thursday, the South Korean military said North Korea launched a total of three short-range ballistic missiles toward the East Sea. Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said they were fired from the North Sunan area in its capital city of Pyongyang. That's the same area where the North on March 24 conducted its first full ICBM test since 2017. The military said the missiles flew about 360 kilometers at an altitude of around 90 kilometers. The latest launch reportedly involved a multiple rocket launcher, and it's the first time that the North has ever test-fired three missiles consecutively. This comes just three days after the newly inaugurated President Yoon suk yeol took office on Tuesday. It also comes after the South Korean military said earlier in the day that it has now decided to use the word missile and officially classify it as a provocation rather than just a threat. This is in line with the new administration's promise that it will deal sternly with provocations from North Korea. North Korea's series of missile launches recently are serious provocations that pose a threat to the Korean Peninsula, as well as international peace and security. We strongly urge the North to immediately put a halt to its actions. In fact, on Thursday, in a text message to reporters right after the launch, the military wrote that the North fired a ballistic missile. Normally, the military would use the word projectile instead. Following the launch, the presidential office convened a meeting of its National Security Council, where they condemned the North's actions. It also said the government would take practical and stern measures against the provocation. Seoul's ambassador to the United Nations also condemned Pyongyang's recent missile test during a Security Council meeting in New York on Wednesday and urged the North to commit to complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization. The phrase, often abbreviated as CVID, marks a shift in tone in South Korea's policy towards North Korea. Peun Ji, Arirang News.